What's up y'all, it's Oz with Tow Trucks, Cars, and Energy Drinks. And uh, today's just gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm sure if you guys are like me, you responsible and dedicated uh, tow operators that take this seriously and um, actually have really nice trucks that you care for, uh, probably go through a weekly regimen. Uh, I wanted to do this video because to me, organization, organization is just so important. I mean, it can be the matter of life and death because you're on the highway and you need to be super organized. So I'm gonna show you guys my little concoction that I set up here to set up all my stuff. And um, as you know, Oz runs a 2011 Cummins rollback. And then I got a self loader, which is a really nice one that I called Nighthawk. And um, I'll show you right here. That's where I keep my skates. Uh, I keep them in their own drawer. And then I got my uh, soft straps right here, which is my, I call them the hot rod straps. And then I got my soft uh, cluster right there. And then I got the one that's called the axle strap. And um, I think that green one's made by Safe and Secure. And I'm not sure who makes the, the, the orange one, but I know you guys have seen that. Uh, aside from that, you know, you always want to roll around with some medical masks. So we got your big J hooks, which uh, I love these because they pretty much are uh, universal straps. And, um, you know, those babies will go around any control arm and um, you'll be able to pull it up with that. And then I got my jack, which is a full size jack. I actually recommend to roll around with two jacks if you can. One big one and one smaller one. Got my ball joint skate right there. And then on top, you guys see, and that's where I keep my wood. And that's where my wood um, is stored right there. And I got all kinds of four by fours, two by sixes. And Oz has a little treat. Now, you guys got to keep in mind, although I am a tow guy, uh, I very do plan on being involved with the industry, and that's designing, making products. I got two products in prototype right now that I don't touch on, but I leave little breadcrumb trails. And, uh, you know, really, I just want to be a big figure in the industry, and I think a good way to do that is to make some really good products uh, for your safety and to help you tow a lot quicker. So I'm working on that, guys, and it's coming soon, I promise. And then uh, over on this driver's side, I got all my straps. That's how your straps should look. They should be that neat and ready to go because if you're screwing around, you're going to be pulling way too much time and you're going to be on the highway a lot longer than you need to be. I always recommend you get one of these 50, 100 foot straps um, because most of you guys running a rollback probably only got a 50 foot line because if it's anything over 50 feet, they're a lot harder to pull out. And uh, my real toe guys know that. And um, I run a 50 foot cable, but the reason I run it is because it doesn't, it's not that hard for it to pull out. And the longer the cable you have, the harder it is to pull it out on a free spool because it's got the tensioner on top. And uh, to go ahead, if you don't believe me, go get you a 70 foot line and we'll see how much you love pulling that out. Um, aside from that, you know, you got your, um, your cluster straps, which I recommend. I got two sets of those. And then I got my lasso straps. I got my big four-way tie downs right here. And then um, I have on this side is where I keep the actual ratchet itself. And uh, as you see, everything is clean and neat. Uh, today is a PM day, so I'm giving the truck a nice bathe. And then um, I already did all the fluids, the diesel filter, everything has all been changed out. Oil's been changed. You know, Oz is a believer in Rotella. I run Rotella for Cummins and Rotella for the win. I do not run anything else. Maybe sometimes I'll get Delvac if the other one's not available, but it's Cummins and Rotella for me. As you can see, I keep the Rotella blue. Don't run anything other than synthetic. And uh, if you don't, you know, heed my warning because it's a lot uh, cheaper to run a more quality oil and do low intervals. And that's a whole video within itself, but um, it's very important that you run very good oil and you change it at low intervals because like I always say, it is cheaper to change your oil than it is to replace an engine. So make sure you're changing that oil every 5,000 miles. Um, if you look inside here, I keep a funnel because you know you have extra, you might blow a line on the road. So it's important to keep a little bit of extra hydraulic or transmission fluid for, uh, you know, for your tank in case you blow a line, you know, you might have to top off or, uh, you know, cut it and then do a straight fitting in there to, to get back towing and whatnot. And then uh, I got my small straps right there in that box, which is for the motorcycles and equipment and stuff like that. And then of course I got my trusty snatch block just sitting right there. I use the one with the chain on it because it's just a lot more versatile. 
and then I cut a little two by six right there to make some storage. And you know Oz is carrying that Dawn dish soap, which uh, I don't know why. I've been watching a lot of tow videos on TikTok and YouTube, and I see these guys shaking these cars off. I don't, I just don't know why. Um, it seems a very popular video is how to remove a car with, um, you know, that's locked up without keys. And I'll be honest with you, man, a lot of these guys need to take more advantage of the neutral override. I mean, even if you pump the, the linkage at the transmission or use your wheel lift, uh, you don't always just have to divert to just shaking the living crap out of your bed and uh, wearing everything out just because you want to sit there and shake it back and forth. You know, if you can get to uh, get into neutral override and pop the linkage on it or hit the hit the button or just look it up and see how it's done. Uh, I've posted quite a few videos on how to do it with the neutral override or, uh, you know, just use your Dawn dish soap, you know, and then uh, it'll just slide. Once the rear wheels catch, you can just pull forward or just walk the truck out. You know, a lot of people never touch on walking your truck. I don't know why. I love walking my truck. People say it's bad and uh, you shouldn't walk your truck. You know, I don't really believe in that. I walk the living daylights out of my truck and I take advantage of neutral override. So that's pretty much how I got the truck set up. Uh, as you can see, I have a four-way there. And the reason I like the four-way is because having that one for such a long period of time, it gets wore down. So on the swollen lug nuts, it fits right over it. And then you just bang it up over there and you can get the lug nuts off, which I run into that problem all the time. So I'll stick my funnel back in there. And then your microfiber towels. Guys, these microfiber towels are so important because if you're uh, towing a $100,000 motorcycle or a Bentley, uh, you might have to put it around the rings or uh, wrap a two by six in it or just there's just so many different reasons or just to wash your hands or clean your hands off, which I want to touch on this too. Um, I always roll around with a little bit of um, hand cleaners and I got these at AutoZone. They're made by Gunk and they're very gritty and I love these uh, because they, they double up when you pull them out. So they give you quite a bit for the money and uh, it keeps my hands clean. I don't really like wearing gloves, but I do have a set in here that I just bought, which I keep right here in this pocket. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're gonna need gloves, but um, I'll be honest with you guys, I've lost so many pairs of gloves. Uh, I'm just sometimes just better off just using my hands and then just cleaning them. Otherwise I'm leaving gloves all over the place. So other than that, uh, I got my tool bag back there, which has my impact. And uh, it's got all my hand tools, crescent wrench, everything. Um, I got all my DOT paperwork sitting right there. My lockout stuff is sitting back there, which uh, has all my little bags in it and everything are in there. And then I got my snare and then my long reach bar, which is uh, all sitting right there, waiting to get used in case I need it. It's all organized and I know it is. And then uh, in that other open spot, you see I got my two jump packs, which I always recommend to roll around with more than one. Uh, because you might need that extra voltage, especially when it's uh, getting this time of year because it's going to be getting cold out and it's going to be a lot harder to jump the cars. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to do a little video to touch on that stuff and, uh, you know, just to give you guys a little bit of knowledge so that way you can be super fast on these calls and efficient because I really don't want you on the highway uh, a lot longer than you have to be. And the quickest way and the best way to do that is to be super organized. So uh, I have to respond to a few comments that are in the box guys. I've been super busy, but I will as soon as I get back inside I've been doing this PM all day and uh, this detail on a truck, which I highly recommend every week You know you do a full front to back uh, Checklist of everything and make sure everything's good to go because you don't want to be caught with your pants down. So uh, as always guys stay frosty much love. I appreciate all the all the people showing love and um, you know getting into it and and being involved and everything like that it means a lot to me and uh, i appreciate that so i got some good stuff in the works coming and as always please like and subscribe oz giannis towing tow trucks cars energy drinks out